Welcome back bus converters. Today is a big day. Super important and we're very ready for it is electrical power on the bus. Now what I have here is a 50 amp plug-in that was installed by a real electrician. This thing runs back to my panel. It takes a regular 50 amp cord. That will run power to a shore power connection on the other side of the bus. Now what we're gonna do today is we're going to add a shore connection, add a 50 amp main breaker panel, and we're gonna wire to a 100 amp sub panel. I'm gonna go inside, I've got everything laid out on a table. I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be putting in. We have our 50 amp power inlet, gonna get attached to the bus. This is a 50 amp RV extension cable. We just need the cable, we don't need the heads. And this will get us power from the inlet to our 50 amp main breaker. This is our main breaker. Instead of having a break, our main breaker inside of the load center, it's basically gonna be outside and we'll then feed power to our load center made by Square. It's the QO load center. It's a little bit more higher end. Basically the breakers are more reliable, uh, but they cost more. And then in order to make some of our connections, we've got a bunch of connectors and uh, wire management. So just a reminder, I've never done this before. I only barely know what I'm talking about. So you can see what I do and then take it into consideration, but you need some input from real electricians uh, which I've had. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the top corner of this side compartment door. I think it'll be less traumatizing than going through here and then through the insulation and the wall and everything. I'll make my cable flexible enough so that I can open the door and then we'll be able to screw through the floor. I wanted my 50 amp main breaker to be out here anyway. That way, if you needed to shut off the power quickly, you could just open this door and flip that main breaker, which will be mounted right right onto the floor right here. My cable can run through the floor, which is just drilling through wood and a little bit of insulation. And also, it's gonna be much easier to drill through here. So I had this thought, I better check and make sure there's nothing in the way. And there is this hinge that might have just barely been in the way. So I've decided to move everything over. You gotta be really slow with this kind of stuff. Like you really have to just be slow and think about what you're doing. Not a time to make mistakes. main breaker and then we're gonna create our cable attached to the inlet to the box that's the next step all right so I got my main breaker mounted and I'm gonna knock this out knock this out all right now I got my wire clamps in here I actually took this outside to go do that because it was a pain in the butt and now I gotta make a wire that goes from in here through here into my marine short inlet which I had to take out And would you look at that, my shore power line is connected. Well, it doesn't have power yet, so let's get back to work on that. I had to go get some stuff from the store, and now I'm back, and oh, everything takes forever, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, I just haven't done it before. And I lose my tools a lot, to be honest. A lot. This is not fun working down here, but luckily, this is all the electrical wiring I'll have to do under here, it's just wiring up this main breaker and then everything else gets to happen upstairs oh this six gauge wire is just beating me up this stuff is tough i got my inlet wired in and man i made a big stupid mistake i forgot to put this cover on there so i'm gonna have to redo this oh, wiring this thing took me forever man this is this is tough stuff so i've got my 50 amp wire running into my 50 amp main breaker. It's a GFCI breaker. I'm gonna go ahead to switch it to on. Everything in here should be wired correctly. So I'm gonna close it up and I got 50 amps running it here and now I gotta get 50 amps up into my AC panel. Sweet! 
got a big 50 amp cable in here. Now I'm gonna stick it through into this thing and then cut it down to size. Okay, so I've got my big cable in the box. I'm gonna wire this in. And you know what? I really don't have a way to show you because this wall's right here. I'm just gonna take care of it and then bring it right back. All right, main breaker box wired from the shoreline. We got two hot lines feeding 120 volts each. One here and one here. There. We've got our neutral connects to all these neutrals, which are gonna come from the lines in. We have our ground. So I've wired up one outlet. Uh, don't mind this thing, it's not connected for now. I used spade terminals with heat shrink, and there's one last thing to do, and that's wire in a breaker in the breaker box. My wire management's probably gonna change, but I have one breaker wired in, and now we get to see it if it all works. We're gonna have to get pretty lucky for this to all work because there's just a lot that I could have messed up, you know? Well, I have a long neck. Hi. Nova, is daddy gonna turn on the breaker? No. <gasps> yes. Are you kidding me? I did Yay! it. We have light. Yay, daddy. Oh my God. I thought Yay. maybe 10% chance. That was gonna wow. <laughs> There's no cushion on there. No, but your daddy's an electrician. Yay, daddy. And you guys aren't being electrocuted what? right now. No. Wait, everything's okay. Great and smells great what? in here. Come on. Wow, I can't that is it. crazy. Bye. Bye. Oh, get out of here, dog. Bye. 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 I'm really impressed. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Guys, I actually can't believe that I pulled that off first try. That was extremely challenging. The con so the concepts, once you research them, they're not that hard to understand, but literally physically working with all of that six gauge stranded wire in tight spaces was just really tough. Beat my hands up doing that. Anyways, I'm just so happy that we have power on the bus. Now granted, it's only AC power. It's not even close to our finished power setup. <coughs> We don't have the AC power running through the inverter. Um, this is just basic, this is just like a house. We literally took 50 amp power from a house, ran it to a 50 amp plug-in, ran it through a 50 amp RV power cord, ran it into an RV marine inlet, also 50 amps, ran it into a 50 amp spa main breaker, and from there into a breaker panel. So right now we have 240 volts going into that breaker panel through 220 volt hot lines and currently into one 15 amp breaker feeding one 14 gauge wire and one outlet. You guys can do it too. Lucas, the guy who installed the 50 amp service for me is gonna come and investigate all this. Get supervision for yourself if you're gonna do this too. Good luck. You can do it. Just gotta fight through it and research and believe in yourself. That's probably the biggest thing. Just believe you can do it. Oh, don't ever quit. Keep trying till you figure it out. So